Are you confused about oxygen numbers when we should and shouldn't give oxygen? There's good reason for that. Stick with me. Let's work this out. A new position paper, there it is, came out from ASEP, N-A-E-M-S-P, the Heart Association, that defines hypoxia in patients with acute coronary syndrome. I'd add stroke to that, but that's all we're talking about here as less than 90%. All right. Now you're saying to yourself, whoa, I thought that was 94. Well, no, now it's 90. All right. And they're saying to get oxygen up to equal or above and not too much above 90 based on this paper. All right. But, you know, that's not the only guidance out there. This paper from the American College of Surgeons says that traumatic brain injury should get to at least 94 percent. The American College of Surgeons in this paper say geriatric trauma oxygen saturation goal is, no number here, low 90s. Now, the evidence-based guidelines that the National Registry uses as part of their criteria for making the exam still lists a 2015 paper that says 94 to 98% is our goal for giving oxygen and looks at hypoxia as less than 94. So this stuff is all over the board. So what do we do? What do we do for a patient? What do we do on the National Registry exam? I think we ditch the numbers game. We look at the patient. We should say, one, what is this patient's suspected issue or complaint? Is it acute coronary syndrome or stroke? That's going to make it very different. All right. And we have guidelines for that now. It says 90. Two, we should look at other things that might require oxygen. Obviously, hypoxia respiratory distress and accessory muscle use, cyanosis, shock, heart failure, just that concept of being in respiratory distress might cause us to pop a cannula on even if we're at, say, 92. All right. Now, the National Registry is not going to give you a question that says your patient has chest pain and blah, 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 blah. How much oxygen should you give You know, to get to what level? 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. It's not going to be there. The choice might be, do you give oxygen or not? And isn't that really what this is all about? We love numbers. We love to have things that are carved in stone and we can reference and say, this is it. But clinical medicine isn't easy. Clinical medicine requires decisions. And that's what we're talking about here.